Good morning, everybody. Mark Finan here in the Home Weather Office on this Tuesday morning. It is the fifth day of December 2023. This is the morning briefing coming to you from my home weather office. And as I look out the window of the home weather office, it's mostly sunny. It's a good looking morning, not all that cold for this time of year. And it is going to be a good looking day. There has been some fog in the valley. It doesn't look as though it's uh, quite as extensive as uh, what we thought we might get. There's a few more clouds overhead that help to prevent some of that. Um, and whatever fog we have will burn off pretty quickly. And the afternoon should be mostly sunny and mild. But we are looking at some rain ahead. So let me show you what's happening. Here's that bit of high cloudiness going by and helped to minimize some of the fog we saw in the valley. Still, there are patches of, of dense fog. But if you look out here, this is, well, this is that rain that's going into the northwest. Let me drag this down a little bit more. They've just been getting uh, tons of rain here in western Washington and northern Oregon, northwestern Oregon. And I think we're going to start hearing stories today about some flooding going on up in here because they've just been getting pounded with uh, rain solid atmospheric river type event there. Now what we're going to get is just the southern edge of this, this the tail of that sliding across the area during the day tomorrow. Today we get these high clouds, some more of these, those clouds will help to prevent fog from developing for early tomorrow. Now the models are in pretty good agreement about the timing of the rain that we'll see tomorrow. I'll pick it up with the HRRR and this is into the, this evening. And as you can see, there's the rain off the coast. So we go through today without an issue. This is uh, tomorrow around 10 a.m. There is rain in Lake County. There's certainly rain around Mendocino County, Sonoma County, but the valley is dry and so is the Sierra. And again, that's 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. And then when we do get the rain is mid to late afternoon. This is around two o'clock in the afternoon. Rain in the valley, rain in the foothills, especially around Grass Valley, Butte County, Plumas County, getting some rain. And then into the uh, early evening. This is around six o'clock. The rain is then done in Sacramento. So the rain doesn't stick around very long. It rains for a few hours. It's going to be kind of a quick line that goes through and also relatively mild, not much snow, a couple of inches, but still in that time frame when this goes by, we may see um, chain controls on 80, maybe on 50, uh, but more likely interstate 80. And think about the time between maybe well, right around sunset and up to maybe seven or eight o'clock in the evening might be the best time we could get some snow. That all breaks up though, and now you see another system here off the coast. The models are not in good agreement about this at all. Let me show you the way the NAM shows the same sort of scenario. So here's that rain going through, same time, late afternoon, not much snow. Into the evening, the rain is done. This model shows some light showers going through on Thursday afternoon and maybe another inch of snow. Um, but again, even this model last night was not showing this feature. So the models have kind of been going back and forth on this, but this is going to be very, very light rain, you know, a couple of one hundredths of an inch of rain and not much in the way of snow, if it happens at all. Like I said, there isn't any very good agreement on this, but yeah, we'll have to evaluate that as we go through the day to see whether or not we're going to have to include some raindrops on Thursday. And if you want to go beyond that, and why not? It's Tuesday. It's time to start thinking about the weekend. Actually, it's probably too late to start thinking about the weekend. <laughs> Started doing that yesterday or the day before. So this is Thursday night. That system has gone by. This is the weekend. This is Friday, Saturday. As you can see on Saturday, there's rain going to our north, kind of a theme we've been seeing a lot of lately. This is Sunday, Monday. Maybe we get more clouds from a, another system falling apart. Just nothing really coming our way. This is the 14th. This is next uh, Wednesday. This is next uh, Thursday. The, yeah, Thursday the 14th. Now, some of the models have been occasionally hinting that we might see something around the 15th or 16th. This is the latest model showing uh, another very weak system coming our way. Uh, but the models are not in agreement on that. But that's way out there, 10 days out. Really can't depend on that. But, you know, the bottom line here is that we just don't see anything significant on the horizon and you know that what I just showed you if that GFS is true and there's no guarantee that that 10 day plus forecast is true um, you know that gets us through the middle part of December one of our really big months with uh, a really big deficit in terms of rain and snow the deficit in November because we don't get a lot of rain and snow in November we get some but you know if you get 50% of average it's it's easy to make up with one good storm in December 
But if you knock off two weeks in December without anything in the way of significant rain or snow, that's a that's a bigger deal. Um, so in order to kind of make up that deficit that you're building up, so to speak, you need some really good storms. Um, so we'll have to see what the second half of December looks like. And of course, uh, getting into January, February, and March. We still have a lot of the season to go, but it sure would be nice to get some more significant systems our way to start building up the snowpack and uh, and just really get things going around here. We, Even though we had a good year last year, we still need at least an average year this year to make sure that the reservoirs are full as we head toward next spring and summer. That's a long way out. <laughs> That's everything I've got for you this morning. It is a Tuesday. That means there will be a Facebook chat tonight at 8 o'clock. If you want to join and ask any questions about uh, anything weather-wise, otherwise I'll be... Uh, in my suit and tie at, and uh, on TV at 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, and 11. So that's everything I've got for you this morning. Make it a great day. I'll talk with you later.